Well, hello everybody. Uh, this is Rick from Rick's Rumps. And that intro was a little different than my normal ones. I hope you liked it though. So this is going to be a couple of things. It's going to be an in-depth review of the day I crashed and lost my Phantom 4 in the desert with Charlie of Charlie Phantoms. Uh, this video is also dedicated to my two former romp partners, my brother Paul and uh, my buddy Charlie. So, um, as you can tell, um, there's a wash right here. This is the Humbug Wash and uh, it's up by um, northwest of Lake Pleasant. And the day that I uh, lost it was um, back in 2019. Um, the actual day was August 15th. And it was about 105 to 108 degrees out. And so when I went to find it, I walked this entire wash up to where I thought it had crashed. But um, I could never find it. Uh, I'm gonna say it was probably about a mile to, well, at least a mile and a half to two miles. As you can see, this is just normal speed, probably going, uh, I don't know, five to seven, maybe eight miles per hour. Uh, the only thing that saved me that day because it was so hot out was um, all the trees. It was shaded most of the way, but when I got to where I thought it had crashed, um, I had to get out of the wash. And um, yeah, it was super hot when, when I wasn't in the shade. The other thing is uh, I took plenty of water and I had a walking stick in case I ran into some snakes or something that might wanna bite me, <laughs> okay? Uh, so what I did was uh, I had created a mission um, well, let's back up and say, uh, you saw Charlie at the beginning of uh, this long clip, and um, that's not him flying this mission. He was just doing, he had just landed. I um, uh, was flying a mission uh, with my Litchi app, and um, what I failed to realize was no. that when you change uh, settings in Litchi and you don't have cell service, uh, your takeoff height, I guess you want to call it, uh, defaults to above ground, uh, or actually above takeoff uh, elevation and not above ground. And I didn't realize that at that time. So um, I had changed it to what Charlie had uh, but he had already made his mission uh, previously, so his was above ground. I believe it was 181 feet above ground that I thought I was flying, which would have been fine if it was above ground, but it wasn't. It was above takeoff point. And as, as you can see coming up is where it finally crashed. So um, that's right there in the middle is the little mountain that I had to climb up. And you'll see here that it's gonna go sideways. And if I would have been going front, uh, with the front going forward, it wouldn't have crashed because uh, my Phantom 4 does not have sideways obstacle avoidant, avoidance. So that's what was going on that day. And you'll see here pretty soon that uh, it's going to crash. And uh, I don't like flying just straight forward because I like changing up the uh, perspectives. Anyway, here it comes. You can see the shadow right there in the middle. And uh, by this point, I had already lost contact with it. And uh, here it comes, here it comes. Right about now, boom. Okay, at this point back um, where I'm flying from, I'm kind of getting worried and thinking, hmm, it's kind of taking a long time. Well, eventually, of course, it never came back. So we uh, uh, packed up things and we came back several times uh, with my brother, without Charlie, 
with Charlie and my brother. And uh, yeah, so the first time was uh, I came back with Charlie. We couldn't make it, uh, at least my Kia, which I had at that time, I couldn't make it because it was just too rough four wheel drive. Well then, um, so I walked it and it was so hot out and I, I didn't have my walkie talkie at that point, which I wish I would have because um, when I got to the point where I thought it had crashed, I was able to call Charlie on my cell phone. Uh, all right, so I looked around and looked around, looked around and finally gave up and started to walk back and now down into the wash I didn't have cell phone service so it, I took lots of break because it was screaming hot and Charlie got worried super worried and called 911 and uh, by the time I got back to where I had uh, cell service which was just down the hill from where Charlie was at and I called him and he told me uh, that he had 911 on the phone and so I talked to them and they said stay right there the two officers were coming and and so I said okay well Charlie well, didn't want to wait around so we took off and because we're so far remote well, we knew we would run into them on the way back and that's exactly what happened they asked me if I was okay and all that kind of stuff so it ended well even though I feel really bad that I kind of freaked Charlie out. All right, so this is getting quite long, but I'll just say that uh, that's uh, a comprehensive um, talking points of what happened that day. And um, if you wanna see the video of the actual recovery, I'll put it, the number on the screen. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody.